So you've placed an exchange order using our website, or you've filled out one of our downloadable postal exchange forms. Now you're ready to package your currency and send it off to us. It's very important that your currency is packaged properly to make sure it reaches us safely and securely. You can find many packaging tips on our website via the packaging tips and tricks link in the description. But in this video, we're going to show you the best way to package banknotes and coins in more detail. When packaging your banknotes ready to send them to us, you should use a non-transparent envelope. This is important so that no one will be able to tell there is currency inside. Use multiple layers. Put them in a promotional flyer or greetings card. If you are sending many banknotes, think about using a cardboard envelope or padded envelope. Don't forget to include your six digit order reference number or your postal exchange form so that we have everything we need to process your exchange. Forgetting to include these may result in delayed payment as we will not have the information we need. You can fold some tape around the edges of the envelope and over the envelope seal to make it extra secure. Write your return address in small writing on the back side of the package. Write return address above this so as to not confuse the postal service. When writing our address on your package, it is very important that you write LOC on the first line of the address. Do not write leftover currency as we do not want to reveal the valuable contents of your package. Finally, apply a layer of clear tape over both addresses. This will prevent tampering and any possible water damage. During transit, coins are likely to move and shake around if they are loose inside your package. If they are not packaged securely, they can break through multiple layers. Here are some tips on how to package your valuable coins safely and securely. If you only have a few coins, you can fix the coins to a piece of paper or card using tape. We recommend wrapping the coins first so that they do not become sticky. You can use coin wrappers, cling film or tin foil for this. Use multiple boxes, coin bags or any other sealable bags. The more layers you use, the more secure your coins will be. Once again, don't forget to include your six digit order reference number or your postal exchange form so that we have everything we need to process your exchange. A good tip for extra security is to apply tape to all edges and corners of your package. If you have a lot of coins to send to us, greater care will need to be taken to stop the coins from moving around inside your package. Choosing an appropriate container. Always consider the thickness of the container's material when sending coins. Old ice cream tubs, metal tins, or cardboard boxes are some sturdy and easy to find options to choose from. Use multiple boxes, coin bags, or any other sealable bags. The more layers you use, the more secure your coins will be. Fill the empty space in your package with light materials, such as bubble wrap or polystyrene. This will ensure the coins cannot move around and stay as still as possible during transit. If you can hear the coins rattling in the package when you lightly shake it, Use more padding and packing filler. Once again, don't forget to include your six digit order reference number or your postal exchange form so that we have everything we need to process your exchange. Lots of tape. A good tip for extra security is to apply tape to all edges and corners of your package. 
be generous with this step of the packaging process. No tape is too much tape when the safety of your valuable coins is at stake. Write your return address in small writing on the back side of the package. Write return address above this so as to not confuse the postal service. When writing our address on your package, it is very important that you write LOC on the first line of the address. Do not write leftover currency as we do not want to reveal the valuable contents of your package. Finally, apply a layer of clear tape over both addresses. This will prevent tampering and any possible water damage. Now all that is left is to get your currency sent off to us. Postage and courier costs will vary based on the size and weight of your package and the delivery company you choose. Most delivery companies have online postage calculators. Make sure you pay the full postage. If you don't, your letter or parcel might be sent back because of postage due or left for collection in the post office. If you are sending currency worth over 20 pounds or 20 euros or 20 dollars, we recommend that you use a recorded delivery service like Royal Mail signed for, TNT Express or USPS tracking. This will enable you to track your shipment and it will provide you with a proof of delivery. If you are sending currency worth over 50 pounds and if you are sending from within the UK, you should use Royal Mail Special Delivery Guaranteed. For international high value deliveries, we recommend that you use a courier service, declaring the content as documents when sending banknotes. If you are sending from the United Kingdom, and if the combined weight of the coins and or banknotes is over one kilogram, we can in most cases fully refund the postage costs. Please contact us prior to sending your currency to find out more. You'll find a link in the description. We hope the information provided in this video is helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out our other currency related video content on our channel. We look forward to converting your foreign coins and banknotes into spendable cash.